Identity theft can happen to anyone, anywhere, even when you're staying at a hotel. One man who worked at a hotel here in Wilmington is now facing more than 70 identity theft charges, many of them stemming from stealing credit card numbers. WECT's Lauren Schuster got new details on the case today. And Lauren, you also heard some information on how all of us can keep something like this from happening to us. Yeah, John, that fraudulent activity happened at several nearby hotels. We're working to pinpoint exactly which ones were targeted, but Kevin Wright was charged with 66 counts of financial card fraud and 71 counts of identity theft. He's currently being held under a nearly $4 million bond at New Hanover County Jail. And we uncovered that Wright was arrested in Durham in the past for charges such as using false pretenses to obtain property and financial transaction card forgery. And those charges happened in between 2012 and 2016. And how he obtained credit card information here still isn't clear, but I'm told taking precautions when making reservations and checking in could make a world of difference to protect yourself. Remember to provide a credit card and not a debit card when putting a card down with a hotel. And that way, in case anything bad happens, your bank account isn't drained. Plus, fraud prevention is much better with credit cards. And you should also use your own computer when traveling and ensure that you're on secure Wi-Fi connection at a hotel. If something does happen, providing police with as much as information as you can is key. We do need the card numbers for that card to include, if we can get 16 digits, that's spectacular. Um, typically, the last four digits of the vehicle is what we'll, the last four digits of the card is what we're looking for. Where it was used, the amount, and the time frame. And again, we're working to find out which hotels were impacted in this fraud case. But what we do know is that Wright was active in between the months of February and May of this year. We'll have more updates on this case as we learn more. Lauren Schuster, WECT News.